Welcome to my vocabulary worksheets, prefixes, and suffixes. Check out this excerpt from the training video I did for the New York City Department of Education. Let's talk about reading comprehension. And the way I look at it, it's really more like comprehension. Because if I have a student that's dyslexic, I will read it out loud to them. Because I don't care how they take in information, if decoding is difficult for them, then a lot of their brain power is going to be going into decoding the words and they're going to have less brain power available to work on the comprehension, the meaning of what they're reading. So I will absolutely read aloud to students if they have any trouble reading. And I've been to many conferences that talk about the importance of vocabulary. And of course, absolutely vocabulary, increasing vocabulary is very important. But I'm not a fan of just going over words one at a time. They've done studies and found that language disordered kids have to hear the same word in different situations up to 30 times before the meaning really sinks in for them. So I try to build their vocabularies in other ways besides just isolated one word at a time. And one of the ways I do that is our first activity, which is word roots. If they can remember word roots, they'll have a better time when they come across the root in several different words, they'll have a better idea of what the word means. Another way is if you know prefixes and suffixes, that can help you figure out the meaning of an unfamiliar word. So for prefixing, prefixes and suffixes, there's an exercise on prefixes, an exercise on suffixes, and then an exercise putting them together. Thanks for viewing my description of my vocabulary worksheets, prefixes, and suffixes. If you like what you've seen here, please click and subscribe to my channel. Not exactly sure what that means, but my web guy told me it's a thing.